recently for fun, I made a free window manager for the Mac that I released here on the channel and ever since many people have been sending me feedback on what I need to fix and improve, which is really amazing. One of the highly requested features for my app is to make it launch automatically on startup. So I rolled up my sleeves and I started digging through Apple's documentation and this is where things really started to fall apart. Wait, that's way too nice of a way of saying it. Let me rephrase. I f hate Apple, and I'll explain exactly why. On the positive side, to show my undying appreciation for everyone who supported me here on my journey to 100,000 subscribers, I will be giving away all of my mechanical keyboards. I have 5 of them, including this secret new one that just arrived in the mail. The winners will be chosen randomly from the list of my Instagram followers, so make sure you follow me on Instagram if you'd like to enter the giveaway. In one of the next videos, I'll code for you a quick random selection algorithm for the winners, so you can follow along and see if you're chosen. My first issue with Apple is that if your app uses the accessibility API, then you can't push it to the App Store, because we don't want accessibility tools, right? But I'm kind of fixing this by building my own App Store, which is interesting enough for me to work on, so for now it's kind of okay. What is not okay is how overcomplicated and stupid the process is for making your app launch and start. At first it doesn't seem all that bad. You just add your app to something called login items. But the trick is, you can't add your own app to login items from within your own code. So for example, one menu can't add itself. My first thought was, okay, this is weird. But the second thought, okay, this is to prevent malicious apps from adding themselves without your knowledge or consent. So it's a protective feature. But after reading the official documentation, I came to the realization that Apple should just straight up fire all the engineers who ever worked on this so we can all get on with life. Let me explain why. This is gonna get a little technical, so bring in the whiteboard or in this case the iPad. So the way those overpaid Apple engineers suggest you should solve this problem is by embedding a secret little helper application within your application bundle, then because they're technically separate, your main application can add the helper to the login items. And the only job of the helper app is to start the main app and then immediately terminate itself. I'm not making this up. There's a lot of tutorials out there written on exactly how to do this. It's kind of crazy. But why is this so bad? Well, it's because it doesn't really protect the user in any kind of way. Any app developer can add this secret little helper and make their app start in the background, while at the same time it makes the code about a hundred times more complicated for every legit app out there. It would be so much better to simply allow the app to add itself to the login items, but when you want to do it, ask the user to confirm. How hard can that be? For example, that's how the accessibility API works. When I try to enable the window manager for the first time, it will prompt the user to give it access. But for login items, they force me to make this huge mess out of my codebase and at the same time make it possible to easily exploit this quote-unquote protection mechanism. In other news, I'm making good progress on my app store. It's really just an API endpoint that my app can call to get the latest version given its current version. I ditched Express and wrote my own framework for this, which was completely unnecessary, but it was also very fun to do. And it's very different from Express or other Node frameworks that I have seen, so let me know in the comments if you'd like me to push this to GitHub, and if this video gets over 100,000 views, I'll promise I'll finish writing all the tests. For the rest of the video, I'll include some longer sections of coding as I'm working on the App Store API as well as the Mac app, because many of you enjoyed it last time. Oh, one final question. I'm thinking about getting a gaming console because it's starting to get freezing in Norway and I want to have something fun to do at home this winter. Which one should I get, the PS5 or Xbox? If there are any gamers here, I'd like to hear your opinion or experience. I'd also love if we could play some games together in the next few months and maybe you can teach me some tricks since I'm not really a great gamer myself. So let me know in the comments and let's get to some coding now.